Home Beer Brewery. Hello Brewtubers and thanks for tuning in again on the Home Beer Brewery's channel. This is just a quick update video about harvesting my own hops. And the, the cooling performance of the AS40, Linder AS40. What a bath cooler. As you guys know, I recently fermented a batch of wort in the, my SS Brutech Conical fermenter, which was connected to a Linder water bath cooler. It performed really, really well. And I tried to do a cold crash. Not exactly a cold crash. I uh, like to do a test to 7 degrees Celsius, so it's uh, still cold, refrigerating ter temperatures. And what I did uh, first after the primary fermentation, I removed this part. I will show you. I removed this part out of the AS40. And I'll show you now some footage where it was positioned in the water bath cooler. I didn't see a purpose for it. I removed it because there was a lot of corrosion on it. I added to the water in the water bath uh, um, some sunny clean solution. Some sunny clean so uh, there won't be any bacteria in that water. Of course it's cooled, it's already safe in my opinion, but better safe than sorry. But this part, they had, it had a lot of corrosion on it. It looks like uh, tiny cauliflowers. So I removed, removed that part. I don't know for sure if this is on, uh, aluminum or stainless steel, but I removed that one and it um, now I have a product that works uh, fine in my opinion. About the cold crash. I, before I could remove the piece of uh, metal out of the linder, I emptied all the water. As you can see, you can use the internal pump, pump of it to pump it empty. It's a nice little trick. Just connect the hose on it and switch on the linder and the recirculation pump of the water bath will uh, pump the water out, like you can see here, in a sink. After removing the water and removing the piece of metal, I needed to refill it with water. So I started all over with water of about 15 degrees Celsius out of the tap. Switched on the linder to the second the thermostat on the second position. So that's about uh, yeah, 7 or 8 degrees Celsius. And as you can see the temperature of the ward is 21.5 degrees Celsius. I started to turn down the temperature to which I believe if I can recall it right about 7 degrees. Celsius. I started a timer. It was uh, past nine, and in the following video, you can see it dropped down almost 10 degrees in several hours. And the next day, early in the morning, it was uh, below eight degrees Celsius. So I switched down the thermostat of the linder is of 40 to uh, the third position, so it reaches the 7 degrees Celsius. But what I showed you in this footage with uh, proof of uh, a clock with my smartphone on it, the cooling capacity of the AS40 is magnificent good. Next time I will do maybe a time lapse. I will just switch the thermostat on the Linder cooler to 6 or 7. So it's almost 
at freezing temperature about uh, seven, uh, sorry, one degree Celsius or zero degrees, the water will start to uh, ice up, and then I will do a actually a cold crash to about two degrees Celsius. It's uh, funny to see the condensation on the conical when uh, doing a cold crash to about seven degrees, and it will be even more condensation on it when it's uh, a lot colder, about 2 degrees Celsius. Well, that was the cooling performance of the AS40. I really like that product. Well, you can see here, uh, I will grab the camera and show you what I did today. Or actually what I did. The whole family helped. These guys, I own a Cascade hop plant. These are the wet hop cones of it. I put them to dry on a, on a mesh, on a screen. Don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a, a screen that you use to uh, keep the mosquitoes and the flies out. You put it in the window, so there is some air circulation underneath it. Um, when it's dry, I'm going to vacuum clean it, but I have more. I had a big yield this year. I have another screen over here. We'll pick the camera up. There we go. Yeah, a little bit far. Uh, there's just some brown pieces on it, but I guess what I want, or what everyone wants growing hops, I show you on the inside. It's that yellow goodiness. Oh, smell of vision is the next thing what needs to be done on YouTube. It smells really nice. This is Cascade. The whole brewery here smells a bit grassy, fresh, aroma, a bit of a citrusy, some yeah, tropical fruits. Citrusy, grassy, these are still kind of a bit of wet. You can hear it on the sound. I will uh, remove all the leaves out of it like this. You don't want it. Cheers, guys. And this is a Yario IPA that I brewed recently. Beautiful homebrew. Nice lazing going on. I really like this one. <coughs> I didn't stood still the last uh, couple of weeks. I told you this is an update. Mm, this is a brew bucket containing beer. It's already beer. I fermented it. Uh, it's the winter warmer for this uh, winter or a Christmas ale because I uh, used a lot of spices. Um, the ABV on this one is almost 9%. I used uh, Pale malt, uh, candy sugar, chocolate, uh, malt, carafa, tree, a special bee, I can share the recipe, uh, 30 grams of magnum, about uh, 23 grams of perla. I used coriander seed, uh, anise, any star, cinnamon powder, and orange peel, bitter and orange peel, sweet. So I'm, I'm very, very curious how this one turns out. I took a sample, it's already 1.010. So it's, uh, it's completed fermenting. It gives a blob every yeah, three minutes, I guess. You can see this um, foam on the stars in. For this yeast, I used the Abbey Belgian uh, Lallemand uh, yeast. I can uh, put the complete recipe in the more info section. Thanks for watching guys and planning to make more videos. But same as always, Buzzy 
with everything. Looking out for a 10 liter Braumeister so I can uh, do more batches, small batches inside the house with my family. So I'm looking for a 10 liter Braumeister for experimental batches. So maybe in the future that baby will come. But check out my channel later, maybe there will be a video available soon. I'm going to pick out the leaves out of this uh, hop stock pile. <laughs> I really like the result. And maybe I'm going to share with you the packing process and sealing process, vacuum process and of course a brew with the fresh cascade hop. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Speak to you soon. Cheers.